We're rolling? Oh. <laughs> hey, what's up? I'm KT Tatara. Kevin Shea, how's it going? Uh, enjoy the video. Hey, what's up? My name is Andy Herr. Hi, my name is Aiko Tanaka. Hey, what's going on? This is Danny Cho. Um, it's gonna be a great show. I'm David. I'm Andrew. And together, we're, we're the Fun Brothers. Brothers. My name is George Wang, aka Lil Wang. Fortune cookie and Sarah That's right. What's up? My name is David Sutter. That's so fucking scary. Hey, what's going on, guys? Ellie Chang in the flesh. What's up, everybody? I'm Joe, and this is Bart, and we're Just Kidding Films! What's up? My name is PK. Paul Kim preaches kid problem kid. Pressure kid. Porn kid. Anything else? Pimp kid. PK. Yo, what's good? It's the Dumbfounded. We're here at the first ever Korean comedy festival. It's historical going down to the community. Hilarious comics. We're getting drunk on it. Corey Am. Peace. <laughs> large groups of Korean Americans out in K-Town, right? But they're always speaking a mixture of English and Korean. And it's weird because sometimes they speak it to us. Like, I have a Korean friend she'll be like, Oh my God, you know that guy we met? Uh-huh. So <laughs> Uh, what? I'm, I'm sorry, I'm not Korean. Oh, it's okay. I accept your apology, but, you know, you should really learn. <laughs> My ex was like, hey, I want to hear you speak Japanese. That turns me off. I was like, why don't you go to Chinatown? You don't know the difference. Right? He was like, come on, I want to hear it. So I'm like, I'm like, I don't know. He's like, what did you say? I'm really turned on. I said, I'm with you just for the green card. I'm the last of five kids. I got two older brothers, two older sisters. They're all two years apart. I'm the fifth. I'm 10 years apart from my next brother, so I feel like an accident. So, uh, yeah, you know, sixth grade, I went to my dad, I'm like, Abba, am I an accident? He said, there are no accidents in God's kingdom. Only regret. I took my girl, took my girlfriend this morning uh, to go get a pedicure in one of those Vietnamese nail salons. Is it just me, or do some of the ladies there sound like they're underwater and shit? So, do you want me to do your toenail? Do you want the pedicure, or do you want the pedicure? It sounds like swimming sports and shit. We'll get Marco Polo, green light, red light. Like, please, can you please talk to me at an octave above sea level? These motherfuckers sound like they're submerged and shit. I grew up with a lot of Latinos and a lot of black people, you know, when I was growing up in Koreatown, Los Angeles. I didn't get exposed to like soju and all that shit and like uh, uh, karaoke's and PC rooms until a lot later. Until, like I discovered it like two years ago. And I just decided to stay here. I was like, okay, this shit is dope because Korean bitches are easy. But I was like, no, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I totally, you guys are not easy. That shit costs a lot. That shit is not the real shit. Y'all are not easy at all. God damn. <laughs> I'm looking at credit card bills like, come, come, dude. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. Most of all, you guys have been pretty awful as an audience. Loosen up. The money is to benefit North Korea. We're not actually fucking in North Korea. Right? We can laugh, laugh, laugh it up. And how are you two even here? Like, did you actually think this is a movie? Like, you would have the drinks and the fucking popcorn the size of a Mini Cooper. And you, I, I just think you got your glasses. Like, my God, this is the best 3D movie. Fucking scene. Look at these Asians, they look real. They're not even CGI. Look at them. This is fucking amazing. How are you? How did you two end up here? P 
PK? Oh, you're friends with PK? On Twitter? That's it? You don't know him in real life? Is it weird to, like, you could actually go over and touch his face? That's what I'm saying, right? You don't want to be smart, right? Because if you're smarter than everybody, that means, like, if you're smart, like, not upper percentile, like, 90 percentile, whatever, you're smarter than 90 percent of people, that means nine out of ten people you run across every day is a fucking idiot compared to you, right? How annoying is life then? You're walking around like, shut the fuck up, bro. Excuse me, you don't know what you're talking about. Hey, Doug, I explain this shit again? Fuck, I guess I do, because I'm the only person that knows, right? <laughs> It's like a living hell, no one wants that. Now most people are in the middle, most of us in the middle, right? You're smarter than this guy, you're dumb than this guy, that's okay, right? Kind of balances out, you're like, hey, at least I'm not him. And I'm glad he was paying attention, because I don't know what the fuck he's talking about. Huh? That's cool. Now think about this, if you're in the bottom percentile, at that point, just about everybody seems like a genius compared to you. Life must be amazing, you're just walking around like, how'd you know that shit? How do you remember all this stuff? You're so smart, man, that's awesome. Like, think about your dumbest friend. Aren't they just laughing and smiling all the time for no fucking reason at all? <laughs> That's because they're constantly surprised by life. They don't know what the fuck is going on. <laughs> they're laughing at shit that shouldn't be funny. Look at this, I got two parking tickets in the same day. <laughs> Everyone's like, wow, he's got a great attitude on life. He's borderline retarded, okay? <laughs> There's like a fat difference between black people and Africans. Do you know what the difference is? Is the way black people tell stories and African people tell stories. Like black people, when they tell stories, it's quick. Yo, dog, real talk, motherfucker came, clack, 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 done. You know how Africans tell stories? You'll be there for fucking six days. In Africa, there was a tree. The tree was underneath the car. You take the car, then you go back to Africa. Like, bitch, I was asking you where the fucking bathroom was. Like, what, what's that got to do with anything? It's scary, man, when you can't fight, you can't defend yourself, you know? This one time, her and I were walking down the street, and these two guys just started hollering at her. They went, <laughs> and she hates that. She was like, Bay, they're whistling at me over there. Make them stop. <laughs> I'm looking dead at them. like, what are you talking about, baby? I don't see anybody. <laughs> Over there, they're whistling at me, make him stop. Next year, I'm in front of him. I have to man up. I'm like, hey! You guys whistling at my girl? Yeah, we're whistling at your girl. Thanks for giving her attention. <laughs> we say, like you, baby, they like you. They're very friendly. <laughs> I'm amazing in bed, ladies. If you single, holler, you know what I mean? I know it's kind of douchebaggy of me to say that I'm amazing in bed, but I'll tell you why I'm good. Two of the girls that I've slept with are now lesbian. <laughs> now you're thinking to yourself, oh, that means you ain't shit. No, man, it means I'm the best. I'll give you an example of why. <laughs> Guys, when you play a video game and you beat the final boss, do you want to play the game again? <laughs> I'm the King Koopa of dick, that's what I'm saying. I am the M. Bison of the penis game. I will move your fucking kidneys to the side if you let me. Just finished the first ever Koreatown comedy festival. Uh, it was amazing. All the comedians came through. Uh, me and Dumbfounded just thought of it. And then if you have a vision, and uh, if there's if it's love involved, everybody's just down down for it. So I just really appreciate all the comedians and everybody that came out, packed the house. We had another hundred people that wanted to get in, they couldn't get in, so we're gonna have more shows. And uh, today, all the proceeds went to Link Liberty North Korea in collaboration with Parliament through Entertainment. Two important causes that I helped start, and they're always be near to my heart. So I, I just really, uh, my heart is very full right now. So I'm very happy, and uh, thank you everybody for coming. Thank you, Corey and Journal too for coming out.